how a single child became an inspiration for a possible medical breakthrough. The National Institutes of Health estimate there are 10,000 rare diseases affecting more than 30 million people. Ailments are often neglected by researchers and big pharma. Adam Yamaguchi shows us how one parent-led coalition has helped push research into hyperdrive. <laughs> Jordan Lang may not speak like most 17-year-olds, but she has no problem letting you know how she feels. Let's go this way. Before her first birthday, Jordan's parents, Cynthia and Joe, suspected she was different. It was about nine months when she wasn't hitting her milestones that most kids would hit. Yeah, we tested for things. Everything came up negative. Good job, Jordan. Jordan wasn't developing the strength and muscle tone to keep up with other children her age. She also experienced muscle seizures. And as she grew, Jordan's intellectual development stalled at the level of a toddler. Test after test failed to pinpoint a diagnosis. But then at age 10, we did this genome mapping and that opened up all of our answers. That mapping revealed a genetic mutation doctors had never seen before, one that interferes with cell and tissue function. The Langs and their physicians were perplexed. And she used to just motor everywhere. Two months after Jordan's diagnosis, the Langs learned of five other children exhibiting the same genetic mutation. Jordan being the very first to be diagnosed, it's got to be very lonely. When someone calls and says, gee, your child is one of six in the world, that's, it can be a little bit daunting. It's like, wow, we don't know where we're going, but let's go. Through social media, the Langs soon found companions on their journey. Hundreds of parents around the world describe similar symptoms in their children, often misdiagnosed as autism. But genome mapping found many shared the same group of mutations, changes that just happen and aren't inherited. The disorder now had a face and a name, Jordan syndrome. Tell me about Jordan. Well, she's just this amazing 17-year-old child. She doesn't speak, but she's a very soulful young girl. She walks fast, Adam. She'll sometimes grab your hand and say, I'm here and I want to be your friend. We got to chew and swallow. While the children's development remained stalled, their parents forged ahead, creating a foundation called Jordan's Guardian Angels to take an end run around Big Pharma and its lengthy drug development process that focuses on treating more common ailments. But I know we have a couple of topics. The Guardian Angels meet each week to discuss fundraising and research. They have raised $36 million in grants and donations and convinced a group of researchers from 10 major institutions to work together on treatments and prevention. We're starting to see changes within the way either dopamine is synthesized or processed. One of the partners is the University of California, Davis, where Jan Nolta oversees gene editing in animals, targeting mutations responsible for Jordan syndrome. And so she's taking the RNA out to see if we've kind of fixed the defect. And in just six years of research, they're now just a few months away from testing treatments on children with Jordan syndrome and optimistic about a breakthrough. So you're approaching clinical trials fairly soon. Yeah. This is light speed in, light in, in speed. this world. Light speed to get to the clinical trials. It's amazing. The children have inspired the research team to speed toward that goal. That level of cooperation isn't yeah. very common. Scientists are often competing for grant funding and, you know, without the research dollars, no, no discoveries are ever made. For Jordan's parents, it's a race against time. <laughs> to go from discovery of a disease to now talking about treatments and possible cures in six years is almost unheard of, right? That normally that length of time is 15 years or more. How do you think that potential treatments can help Jordan given that she's 17 years old at this point? If we could develop some level of speech, that means a difference in life that's life-changing. And potentially life-changing for many around the world. Scientists now estimate that 250,000 people may have undiagnosed Jordan syndrome. It does drive you. you know, your child's now known around the world because of a disease. Mm -hmm. You know, the love of your child. <laughs> yeah, I know you like that. Is an amazing motivator. For CBS Saturday Morning, Adam Yamaguchi, Sacramento, California.